Hey yeah, man, today we're back with another unboxing, and this time we're gonna do one of the ones that I least do, more or less. Uh, we're gonna do another tech unboxing. I've done like mice in the past, I've done the Ioneo. This one is the Tidbit Gen 2. It arrived in the mail not too long ago. So yeah, on the website it does say it has a new display that brings sharper text and clearer photos, and you can see things clearly when you're up close or all the way across the room, which I've checked the Kickstarter comments, and there's quite a number of people that didn't like it just because it seemed blurry. But I that just like it's like 75% saying it's blurry, and then the rest saying it's it seems fine. So I don't know if I'm gonna be one of those that think it's blurry or not. So let's just open it and see the packaging. This one I did by myself though because I took the label off, so I didn't want to show my information. So this was uh, something I did, but the packaging overall is kind of not that great because you can see there's like some dings and dents from the from the bubble mailer instead of using like an actual because the the i have the original tidbit and they sent it in a box which was perfectly fine and so i don't know why they chose to use a bubble mailer this time um maybe they went the amazon way and used the bubble i don't know but we're just going to open this and see. This is this isn't going to be like a tech review, just because I don't I don't think I'm super qualified. This is just going to be like an unboxing, and if I can get it to work, then maybe I'll showcase some of the apps. Cause I mean, it is it is a nice at least the the first one. The first one was a nice display. So I'm gonna put this here. You can see the glare. Let's see. The, I think it's in the bulb miller. There is. I'm actually lucky that didn't pop out. <laughs> it was like uh, the packing slip. Okay, so yeah, it was just the packing slip. Let's turn this around. All right, so you see tidbit Gen 2. See what happens. The screenshot looks blurry. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's just the, the screenshot looks a little bit blurry. But yeah, I mean, the packaging seems nice. Packaging seems nice. You can see an app for every need. You can see there. So if I can, if it works with the original app, which I think it does, then that'd be cool. And you can use this as like an alarm clock, you can use it as a display, the background for like YouTube uh, background props or something like that. That'd be nice. So uh, yeah, let's just go and open this up and hopefully I can get it to run, but We'll see. We'll see what it what it has inside and all that stuff. If it's cool, like I assume it's gonna have just a tidbit, like a power cord and a user manual. But yeah, it's sad that it doesn't. They didn't decide. To, they didn't continue to do the the wood because I know I know they had issues with it. At least based on the Kickstarter updates, like some of the since they use real wood, it was like it, it would expand and contract depending on the weather so maybe that's why they switched up so how do i don't i just like take it out isn't this just like a sleeve so it's, re it's a really tight sleeve <laughs> yeah no idea all right let's push it out there we go there we go i think i'm gonna break the sleeve if i do this but there we go it's weird that it, so, so like, it doesn't say like tidbit gen 2 it just says tidbit <laughs> even though clearly i don't know if it's like gen 2 right here but um it is what it is all right let's see all right oh, it feels nice i don't know how to like it does it has like some sort of screen in front whereas i think on the screenshots it doesn't look like I don't, I don't know how to explain but i mean it, it looks clean right and there's just the stuff in the back i think this is the stand maybe this one seems magnetic oh it is magnetic okay that's cool so i think this is the stand right it does it does seem like it can stick anywhere but how would i so th so that's the bottom so what is this? How do I? I'm, I'm sure it'll say in like the in the instructions, right? So, all right. So 
We have this for instructions set up your tidbit plugin and install the app sign in connect. So it doesn't say anything about the about the that's extra stand or not extra stand but the stand itself. So I don't know if that's a thing. Is there anything under this cardboard? I don't think so. The way it doesn't seem like there's anything. So I mean it is very sturdy, it is very secure, so that's Pretty good packaging, I like it. All right, let's see. Okay, let's get this bag out of the way. The bag is very glittery. I don't know if you can see this on on the camera, but it, lo it looks very glittery, at least in person. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I, I've never seen that in, in a bag that holds like the power supply, so. Yeah, I mean, that's just me though. So I'm gonna try and see if I can plug it in. It is USB three or USB C. So I was it? I mean, it is three technically, but USB C. So I'm just going to unravel the tie, hook it up to my power supply to my right. All right, if it's if it's if it's. All right, so we need to. I'm just following the instructions right here. Uh, where do I plug it in? No, oh, you can see the, the, the slots are right there. So there's a little button right here. I assume that's a reset, but the middle is the plug. Let's see. I plug it in. Okay. Okay, it is a little bit blurry. I know it's hard. I mean, the, the camera makes it look a little bit better, I think. But I think because of this like front screen, which people have said it was like a diffuser screen, it makes it look a little bit blurry. Which, if you go on their website, it's some of their screenshots show it not blurry, whereas some of the screenshots show it a little bit blurry. So, I mean, your mileage may vary there. So yeah, I mean, it. I think it looks fine-ish on the camera. Maybe I just need to adjust the settings. So, I have my phone here assume sorry for the like the cracks and we're just gonna see if i can set it up as you can see i have it the the app so let's see set up new tidbit wish i could just show it on screen but i mean might show some personal info so maybe that might not be the smartest thing to do <laughs> all right so you can see it's pairing so let's see uh, PC room, I'm gonna name it. Enter address or place. See, that's why. <laughs> well, I'm gonna name it, uh... Oh, I do have the... Interesting. So, there is... That, that's why I didn't show it, because like, it says, Where is this PC room located? I have to put in an address. I don't know why you have to put in an address. But, here we are. <laughs> Got that. Hopefully it doesn't show. Oh, I guess maybe because we have to pick a Wi-Fi. Hmm. I don't know. Do Wi-Fi. I have to put in the password. Oh, there's so much steps. I'll, I'll I'll do a jump cut and see after it like fully connects. So I'll be right back. All right. I think we have it connecting right now. Hopefully, I have. Okay. There we go. Oh, it has, yeah, the, the speaker. So you can see it's working. We have the Tidbit app. I did have some apps from the original Tidbit, which I probably can show. I don't know if it's gonna show on this one, but we'll see. So let's see, PC room. Let's, let, let's, oh, so do, uh, maybe I can import apps, I don't know. So let's see, import, no, you can't. So you can change the brightness through the app. I'm gonna put the, the lowest brightness here, which you can barely see. I'm gonna put the highest brightness here. So yep, yeah, there it is. We can also dim at sunset, which is disabled. There's night mode. Let's see, the, I think the stock, it was at like 70 for brightness. So I'm gonna bring it back down to there. So there we go. Let's see. Let's add an app. There, there are so many apps. We can have just we have art. We can have the Yule log. So we got we got also the Nyan Cat, the DVD logo, 
I am going to let's just get the DVD logo and see how it is on the tidbit 2 Gen 2 so you can see it there I like I think if I see it from far away it, it might be fine but I don't know if it's just because I'm seeing it at an angle and I'm recording it like top down on with the camera I don't know if that's the case so that is the D we can remove that so it's just this is the stock animation if you have no apps and then you have some information apps I think because the one I use is this one which is the uh, the formula one app which tells you which tells you where the where the next race is going to be and when so this is like that it tells you the race up here the azerbaijan grand prix which is technically at the time of this recording in about two hours <laughs> so yeah you can see like the layout of the track and yeah so this compared to the first one the first one is more clear i don't i don't know, I don't know if clear is the right word right so uh, let's close the app and uh yeah and i don't know if clear is the right word it, it's more sharp because it didn't have this diffuser screen so i assume if you take this screen out it will look more clear and more sharp like the first one although i think this would look a little bit more sharp because the pixels were still spaced out a little bit this one seems like it's right right next to each other if, if that makes any sense so you, you, you can still see like the black lines the separating the pixels but i don't know what i did there <laughs> but yeah so yeah like i said i don't this isn't gonna go into like the technicalities i'm, I'm just well, i just wanted to unbox this and showcase this and see how it is in the camera it seems it seems fine although i do see why people are complaining because the, like like i mentioned in the beginning on the site it says for the tidbit gen 2 um it's supposed to be sharper it is supposed to have sharper text and clearer photos and you're supposed to see things clearly when you're up close or all the way across the room i'm i want to say it's clear across the room Although if you're up close like I am, it is a little bit more blurry compared to the first one. So I don't know. I mean, you can still read it. So technically it's clearly. So I don't know. I don't know what they. Eh, it, yeah. So yeah, this is just a normal unboxing for the Dip at Gen 2. Um, it, it is nice. But like I said, no wood um, housing, casing or what do you call it? So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It, it's, it, it's, it's a nice display. But I mean, I'm pretty sure by now that there are other competitors that might be better on the same price. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, yeah, um, that's the Tidbit 2, uh, Gen 2 unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.